Hi guys, this is a video how to get started using Dropbox in three simple steps. Okay, step number one is to register. Okay, you can register just on the website. Step two is download your clients. Okay, they have it for Windows, Mac, Linux, and mobile. If you're using a BlackBerry, uh, iPhone, or Android system, get the client. Okay, so you can use it across your devices. This second step of installing the client is very important. Some people skip this step. Next third step is to well start using Dropbox. And how do you do that? All you need to do is double click on the Dropbox icon. Okay, or if you go to your um, Windows Explorer, you can see it there at Dropbox on the, on the left. Okay, and all you need to do is basically drop a file in. Let's say um, I need to drop up this drop in uh, this circular into Dropbox. I just throw it in. As you can see, it's, there's a blue circle. This means it's synchronizing and delivering it. So now I can access this file as soon as the tick appears. I can, sh I can access it from any uh, device which has um, my Dropbox account signed up. Now I'd like to share with you three tips uh, before I finish this video. And the first tip is shared folders. Okay, you can share folders to color, col collaborate with people. Okay, share this folder and I'll be brought to the website. I can invite people to uh, collaborate on this uh, folder and send them a message as well. Okay, and basically they can access the folder as long as they've got a Dropbox account as well and send folders to you by versa. Okay, so tip number two. You can launch the web-based client. Okay, I'm actually in the web-based client, but let's I'll show you this quick, quick shortcut. Right-click on the icon at below. Um, in on the Mac, it's uh, the Dropbox icon will be on the top right-hand corner, and launch the Dropbox website. Okay, now this website may not be as useful if you have the client installed uh, on the system, but if you um, uh, on a different computer, you can upload and sh access your files just by logging in to your account. Okay, so that's tip number two. So tip number three is this handy tab here called Events. If you click on it, you can actually see the list of files which have been added and uh, deleted. And you can even access the deleted files. Um, I, I understand that they are kept on the server for not more than I think. Um, Few months or less, uh, female accounts have have it for a year, I believe. Um, so yeah, sign up for Dropbox. It's two GB free. The last thing I'll say is, um, if you're sharing a folder, please, 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 uh, copy the file and paste it. Don't drag it out. Because you drag it out, you're actually taking it out of the Dropbox, and whoever's dragged it out, you have to come to this page, Events, and retrieve the deleted file. So um, I hope this this uh, video helps. So that's it. Thanks.